In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a broken sprinkler head. If you fire up a zone and nothing happens, you either have an electrical fault, a shutoff valve is turned off, or you have a leak. You can use a multimeter at the controller to figure out all your electrical issues. In this case, we have a broken sprinkler head. As you can see, none of the heads on this zone are popping up because of this break. The first thing you want to do is dig out around the broken sprinkler head. Be careful with your digging, irrigation lines are 6 to 12 inches deep. Use a pump to remove any excess water. Use a stub wrench to remove the riser from the threaded fitting. Take your new riser and cut it to the correct length. Attach the new sprinkler head to the riser. Double check the length, we want the head to be just below ground level. I cut mine a little too short, so I installed an extender. Once the head and riser are at the correct height, screw it into the threaded fitting. Next we need to blow out any of the dirt that got stuck in the line. I use this Rainbird blowout tool. Pull up the neck of the sprinkler head and clamp it with the Rainbird tool. Remove the grey cap and then turn on the zone to flush out the head. Install the screen and the appropriate nozzle. Test and adjust the nozzle. It's now time to tidy up, rake in the dirt and add extra dirt if required.